it's Trisha from Trisha's Cards and Crafts and um, I just thought today I'd pop on and I'd show you how I've made whoops some note cards and oops something on sticky on the back of that <laughs> note cards and a little pouch to put them in so I've made a set of six note cards and they're all slightly different um, these have got a little um, sentiment inside just wanted to send some happy thoughts your way and the others the thank yous don't have anything they're blank so that you can put whatever you want inside and they've got the, the envelopes to match and it's got a little closure that like a little um, ribbon closure that will just fold down so it's like a little envelope box I've also put some DSP on the back and a little bit on the front part of it as well so I thought I'd show you how I made these today first of all we'll make the note cards and then <coughs> I'll show you how I made the little pouch to put it in now I've got some oops I don't need that bit all that I've got some four by four um, little note cards and so that's what I'm going to be using to make them I've got the envelopes to match as well and I thought I'd use up some some different DSP to, for these this one is from the host um, set is the pattern party Desir designer series paper and I'm just going to use this one here and I've got some granny apple green card because I thought that would match in quite nicely right so I've already cut out the pieces that I need or cut up I should say I'll just um, fold all these cards first and that cards up so we'll get those folded so I need six of these with the others I've I used some Knight of Navy, I used an, a different um, set of DSP uh, piece of paper um, it was from one of the celebration packs that we had earlier in the year and I thought for this one I'd use something that's current so if you wanted to host a party you could select the um, pack of paper and the other one was called it was this paper and it was from the paper blooms designer series paper so so we've got our our cards so we've got six cards i've cut out six squares from a sheet of um a4 granny apple green cardstock and they are three and three quarters of an inch square I then cut three squares of three and a half by three and a half inch square and then I cut them in half diagonally so those will fit on there like that and then I'm going to stick them all together now so this is what how we'll make our cards for this set so I'm just going to they are double sided and the, it's just a, a dotty pattern or spotty pattern on the back um, but this isn't, hasn't got any particular um, orientation I think you could put it any way up you wanted so we'll do whatever we like so here we go I'm just going to use a taper and you could use um, wet glue you can use a, um, I've got um, if you've got snail you can use snail if you've got a tape runner you can use a tape runner you could use wet glue you could use um, double sided glue you can use whatever it is you want to use basically and uh, it's completely up to you um, all I'm doing is just going to put 
the design of serious paper on one half of the card, leaving a small border around it. This is just for speed. I would possibly, I think I used um, some Tombow for the other cards I made. But you can use whatever you choose, if you choose to do it. <laughs> um, just put this one, just, just do them all a bit slightly differently, just so that you can see. If you have got um, a pattern on the paper that needs to go in a certain direction, but just make sure that you put them so that they match. Oops, that's not the right word. I need to concentrate sometimes. Uh oh, what have I done? <laughs> oh, it's the last one. Right. There we go. And we'll put that one there. And there we go. So I've got my six cards so I need to put something on them some a sentiment so I've got two um, sentiments that I used for the other one it was from the happy thoughts um, stamp set I've got the thank you and had a bit of an accident <laughs> and thinking of you and then the one that goes on the inside is just wanted to send some happy thoughts your way. So all the sentiments are from that stamp set. So it's the happy thoughts stamp set. Um, last time, because it was Night of Navy cardstock I used, I did use Versamark ink and then I used a white um, embossing powder to, do, to use that. But because I'm using Granny Apple Green, I'm going to use, well, We'll have a look at Granny Apple Green on one. We'll just see what it, how it turns out. Let me have a look. I've got a little... Hmm. I'll use it on here. We'll see what it turns out like. Right, I need... My stamps. Oops, not that one. Use the other one. Hmm. I can't find it now. <laughs> Oh, there it is. No, that's not it. Where did I put that one? I need it. <laughs> oh, here we go. There we are. Thank you. And that's the one for the inside. So let's try this one first and see how dark this is. If it's not very dark, I might use my a different ink. And it doesn't look as though this ink is very dark. <laughs> let's have a look. No, let's have a look at this one, see if this one's any better. This is Garden Green, and we'll see how this one turns out. Let's see if this is better. Yes, I think that'll be nice. There you go. Right, so I'm going to use some Garden Green on these, just so that it shows up nicely. So I've got... Thank you. One. Two. Three. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then thinking of you for the others. Not that one. This, whoops, sorry. This one. Sorry. There we are. Just bring these down.
you go. So those are the tops stamped and I'm just going to do three with the um, just wanted to send some happy thoughts in. So I'm just going to go out of the way, just do one at a time. We've got our cards ready to go. So now all I need to do is to put them together. So we've got one of these. And again, for this, you can use whatever adhesive you choose. And just because I'm going to try and do it because we're on air <laughs> and don't use up too much of my memory <laughs> then not my my camera's memory I should say and hopefully I'll be able to save this um, I'm going to just use the tape runner for now just waiting for a new um, refill to come for my stamp and seal which is why I'm not using my stamp and seal <laughs> so you can use Stampin' Up tape runner which is the stamp and seal or you could use the stamp and seal plus but you don't really need stamp and seal plus for this project anyway or this part of it and Sometimes it's nice to have some thank you cards and or just some little note cards to send to somebody um, or to give us a little gift card maybe. Um, so I just thought it'd be nice to make these up and rather than have them all thank you cards I've got a, a mixture of the two. So, and as they're four by four you wouldn't probably send anything um, other than a thank you or a little gift card to go with a present so I thought these would be quite nice for that so we've now got our cards and envelopes ready I mean you can do more you could put some ribbon on you can put some um, you could put maybe some little um, oh, I can't what they're called <laughs> <laughs> but whatever embellishments you choose to put on them you can do I'm not going to bother with these one for now anyway um, but that's my those are the note cards ready um, nice and quick and easy for the little pouch to put them in or the pocket or whatever you want to call it I've got a piece of granny apple green card and I have scored it at one and a half inches and two and a half inches on each side on the no, on the shorter side and then on the longer side I've mm, I've scored it at three inches three and a quarter three and a half then at seven and three quarters and eight and a quarter on the longer side so I've got in the middle here a four and a quarter inch square okay so that's the way at the tallest end 
the, the this part rather than the shorter this that one's only three and that one's a bit more so what I'm going I've also marked here um, at this is from this line it's two and one eighth from that line there from the second score line it's two and an eighth so it's in the middle of the four and a quarter and you'll see why in a minute okay so what do we do next we will be cutting along the score lines at, at, on the bottom parts so of the shorter end up to the first score line then across from the side to that score line again and then you will also be cutting the next one across and then I just cut it at about an inch so it's another half inch again you don't have to you can cut it three the, the half inch will be fine but that's what I just I did wrong with the one I did before and the same thing then at the next one I'm cutting actually I don't need this bit at all so the whole thing can be cut away so we're going to cut from here down to that mark and the same thing on the other side we're going to cut all the way down to the second score line so it's not the first one it's the second one and I'm cutting that piece off completely there we go then all the way across to the second score line on both of these and then I'm cutting off to leave it at about an inch I'm just going to trim these a little bit just sharper those in a little bit just a little bit on there we are it's gone <laughs> and I'm going to do the same thing on this side there we are and I'm just going to cut this one off to there there we are so those are all the pieces you don't need for now and that's what you should be left with okay so we can now score along all the score lines so I'm going to score there there it is nice and just try and make sure you've got your line straight and then this side piece and in that one you don't need to do both this one and this one and then that one and this one so there we go these two Flaps are going to go in like this, so it will be folded in like that. So I'm going to put some. So actually, I'm going to use my. Um, oh, I wanted to. I'm going to stick the paper on first. <laughs> I forgot about that. So I'm going to put the four inch. I've cut a four inch square of the same paper which will go which one? it should be four inches square to go in there and then I cut it's just the stamp and seal plus I'm going to use for the um, putting the box together only because that is a little bit stronger we don't want it coming apart and then I'm going to put 
another piece that I have cut somewhere. Here it is, on here. There we go. There we are. As long as I'm only sticking the paper, I don't need to use my stamp and seal press for this one. Right. Now we can stick these together. So I'm going to use my pencil press there and there. And I'm also going to use it here and here. I'm going to put two rows. There we go. That should be plenty. So put this together I'm going to put this so that it's at, at 90 degrees and that should then get a nice corner there like that okay and then I'm going to do the same thing over here so put it at a 90 degree angle and put this then over to keep it in place as well and then I'm just going to bring the sides together. Just use my, just to make sure, I'm just using my scoring tool just to make sure those are held in nicely. Um, now I'm going to cut from that mark to the top score line in the corner there. And again, from this side to that. You could use, um, if you don't want to eyeball it, you could use, oh, you know what I've forgotten? <laughs> you could use, let's get it out, the, um, the trimmer to do it with as well. You can use that. Right, what I have done now, I'm going to just round that off there. Could use it, if you've got a um, corner round, you can use that. It's not going to be seen that much, so I'm not worried about it too much. There we go, that will do. But I did forget something. <laughs> put my band on so I'm going to have to stick this on top now because I've already stuck the sides down what I did before I cut a piece a little bit bigger and I folded it around and then pushed it underneath so it was held inside there but for this one I'm going to have to stick it actually to the um, front so I want this to be four and a quarter. So there we go. I'm going to put that on there like that. And I'm going to use some of this stamp and seal plus on either side. of adhesive there. Let's get rid of that. And then this piece will go across there like that. And this will then fit underneath. Okay. And then to decorate it I used oh I'm going to I'll put these inside now. So those will just fit nicely inside like that. And we'll just I there we go, I've got a piece of white card. And somewhere I should have <laughs> a 
got a two and a quarter inch circle, which I've already cut out of real red, because that's one of the colours that's in here. And then I've got a starburst punch. Um, you could use whatever size you want for the circle. Um, but this starburst will just fit inside the two and a quarter inch circle. And then I'll just stamp this up. And this one says a little something for you. And I'm going to do that in the golden green as well. piece underneath and I'm going to stamp these leaves at the top coming down there we go it's a little bit darker than the granny apple green but it, it's what I've used on the actual card so I thought I might as well carry on using it and then we'll stick this there we go. So it just gives a little bit of red around the edge, and then I'm going to stick this on there like that. But I'm going to use some dimensionals. So I've got two, I'm going to stick one there and one there and then I'm going to put this over there like that so there we have our little let's put all these away <laughs> and there we go right so that's my little box to put on my, my cards in. So these would be great for using maybe for a Christmas fair or a summer fair or any fair really, a craft fair. Um, and you could, you've got your little cards and envelopes inside. They're quite nice. They're not, they're not too expensive to make up. So it doesn't cost you a lot to put it together. So there's your little card. And I've also got, whoops, another one there. That's the first one I made and I might just put a couple of little which one should I use? No, I will use these I think. These will look nice on there. So I'm going to use a couple of these smaller ones. Just I think these are um, retired, but you can use whatever you've got. Um, they're quite nice. <laughs> They've got little sparkles in them. So there we go. There's your little note card and pouch to put them in. Okay, nice little gift for somebody maybe. Um, or again, like I said, for using for some a Christmas fair or a summer fair or a craft fair. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed um, enjoyed watching the demonstration and uh, hopefully I will be able to see you all again soon. Thanks for joining me. Um, if there's if you've got any comments you'd like to make you can make them below. Um, if you want to have a look I've also got um, an Instagram page Trisha's Cards and Crafts and I've also got a YouTube channel which is also Trisha's Cards and Crafts. If you want any of the materials I use to make this one 
you can't get all the materials for this one because the DSP is no longer available but for this one um, or you can use any DSP if you want to you can find all the materials that I've used on my in my online shop which is Trisha's Cards and Craft dot stampin' up dot net um, and you'll find all lots of stampin' up um, products there um, and thanks again for joining me and hopefully you'll join me again soon bye